We were first to bring this news to you here on Newsmax. A couple of weeks ago, I had started hearing from sources that Leslie Wolf was on her way out the door from the Department of Justice. And now we are hearing that from even more sources this afternoon. Of course, this comes at a pivotal he time here with the impeachment inquiry. And I also reached out to the DOG for DOJ for a request for comment and did not hear anything back repeatedly. Now, this comes after that key vote last night. Moving forward, the House Judiciary Oversight and Accountability and Ways and Means Committees will be working to track down key documents and witnesses, especially Biden family members and former business associates. In the new year, Chairman James Comer will likely hold official contempt of Congress votes against Hunter Biden. The president's son dropped by Capitol Hill yesterday for scripted remarks, but he refused to testify unless it happened publicly. He accused the GOP of acting in bad faith. House Republican investigators are trying to arrange testimony with James Biden, the president's brother, Kevin Morris, who helped Hunter pay back taxes and penalties, and two DOJ investigators who examined Hunter's taxes. They're also pressuring the National Archives to release thousands more emails, documents, and other records involving then-VP Biden's exchanges under an alias about official government work. And Montana GOP Congressman Matt Rosendale tells me he thinks all of of the foreign business dealings involving the Biden family are very suspicious. Interesting that several of the payments that went directly to um, Joe Biden, uh, Vice President Joe Biden at the time, uh, exactly matched the 10 percent allocations that we saw reference in several of the emails talking about the big guy. So that is very, very problematic. And, and, I, and I'm concerned with the way that has compromised our national security. Well, House Republicans do hope to wrap up their impeachment investigation in the next few months and make a decision on whether to hold an impeachment vote for President Joe Biden. And this comes as Democrats say that these are all partisan, baseless attacks.